They're asking the uh, SurfNet communications poll question. Uh, put it up at the end of the show yesterday because we we're having such a conversation about um, flies and how you deal with flies. And we have what I think is a pretty comprehensive uh, list of uh, things to do with flies. What are your feelings on that? That paper strip. It's not paper. It's like sticky gummy paper that would hang from the ceiling. A fly trap. Yeah, it's called a fly trap or fly paper. Fly paper. Yeah, it's pretty gross. I mean, uh, because the flies just stick to it. I, we had the bug zapper as a kid. Uh, it's the light that's blue. Oh, the lantern. And, and you're yeah. sitting out on the porch. <laughs> and, yeah. And you're, I think that's why I like that that uh, racket so much. That's great for mosquitoes, the which we don't have a lot of around here. No, moss and mosquitoes. The, the moss would, like, catch on fire. Yeah. It would be a full-on fire. That would be a fire hazard, the, the moth. Like, if you've got a big moth flying into that thing, and they love it because it's light, so they go into it, and they check it out, and then they're like... <laughs> <laughs> So it's our, you're like you're like whoa, dude. That's a good one. Our Surfnet Communications poll question up at uh, kzoz dot com. What do you like to use to get rid of these pests? Uh, you can also weigh in at eight zero five five four three thirty six ninety three. You were telling me yesterday that the electric tennis racket requires some um, a technique, uh, a technique, and uh, but listen, I didn't. I was doing it wrong when I first started. I thought you come down from the top and swat down. All you're going to do is break the racket. You got to come from the side and swap. See, where I fell in love with the electric tennis racket was bees and wasps and flies on my grandmother-in-law's porch, okay? So she had one of these, and we'd sit out there, and we'd drink iced tea. Right. And um, in the summertime, we'd sit out there and drink iced tea. But just she, like the movies, huh? She, yeah, just like the movies. It was great. Um, and she had this great, she had this, um, these, these li- I don't know, I, maybe they're lilacs. I don't know. They're hanging baskets that were these flowers, so a lot of bees would come up. Probably the they, fuchsia. They see these My flowers. And they, they kind of come out? Yeah, they hang off the, yeah, the porch. But I, it could be something else. But so she would have these all along her porch, and the porch was a, wrapped around the entire house. It was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful porch. And... Um, and so we'd sit out there, drink iced tea, and she'd have four of these like electric, electric fly swatters uh, that look like tennis rackets. And we all sit out there with one, and you know, one would fly by us, and we'd just do a little backhand. But so I'm like, we got to get one of these because this is great. Then I try to use it in the house, and it's it's terrible in the house because you know I I got the the. The wall, the joints to the, the, the you know, the, you got things in the, on the kitchen counter. You can't swing it at these things. You can't swing it at any of these. Yeah, things. no. Like, the, I got a toster sitting there. The technique. And I'm like, I'm like, they're fly sitting on the toaster. I'm like, I'm going to get you. And I'm like, oh, I can't yeah. get you. You son of a gun. You almost have to knock them off the toaster where they get on a nice flat surface. Yeah, it's too and much. You, the technique is to bring it from left to right or right to left. So I answered old fashioned fly swatter because I can get that anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to swat a fly on my I know, toaster. I know. It goes down in there. And then, and then you got to clean it off flies. afterwards, but that's fine. Gross. Uh, we got somebody here. Go ahead, Ann. Those electronic tennis rackets, they're not just for flies. They're for kids. <laughs> Thanks, Rich. There's no better motivator, man. I raised four of them. <laughs> Have a great day. You just day. can't let your wife see you do it when you do it. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, otherwise you're going to be in the make a, They do make, I texted you guys a, a, another solution, too. They make a miniature replica of a shotgun, but it's just like a single pump, and it shoots salt. Yeah, you've used this before, haven't you? Yeah, um, to things, kill bees. Yeah. Those things are blasts. Um, literally a blast. And you can um, buy them, uh, yeah. however you buy them around here. They're I called know they're, an they're, assault gun, right? Yeah, they're at Bass Pro Shops, yeah. but that's a couple hours yeah. away. Is it novelty that's, or is it functional? That's my Amazon. question. Amazon. No, think it's that, functional. I, it's functional, yeah. I think the electric tennis racket is a novelty. I don't recommend the salt gun inside the house because then you get salt all over the place. But How yeah. much salt you, is it yeah. shooting? If but the tennis, yeah, the tennis racket thing, that's good for adults that are drinking, too. Yeah. Jeez, I don't want to be your friend. You can, you can get women. You can get women to jump like you can't believe. <laughs> All right, see you, Rich. You can tell he's from a different time period. Wow! Everybody, bring your salt gun to the Pat Benatar concert. <laughs> uh, we have tickets to see Pat Benatar with Neil Giraldo and Melissa Etheridge. California Mid State Fair Thursday night, the eighteenth. Tickets go on sale tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. MidStateFair.com. You can also link up at KZOZ.com. Another shot for you to win. I'm at 820 this morning. All kidding aside, I mean, that's another thing I don't like about the tennis racket is the kids see me swinging it, and they're, like, thinking it looks cool, you know? And then so they're, like, 
gather around. I'm like the Pied Piper, and I'm like, I'm trying to bat- battle off flies, but I got these kids. They're like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, I'm swinging this thing around. Get away from me. And then you got to tell them they can't touch it. Yeah. It can shock so them and then you know, break stuff. Old-fashioned fly swatters, like, boom, quick, get to the point. Uh, Venus flytrap, does it work? That's my only thing. It's like, it's like, do the flies... I've never had one. Are the flies drawn to it the way they should be? Yeah, I never had one. I mean, I had, like I said yesterday, I had friends that had one, and... Uh, Dustin got his finger in there. And I feel like it's da- like Daniel's son, you know, like with the with the chopsticks, you know. It's like, yeah, it's cool when it happens, but it happens once in a blue moon. Subscribe to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. It's your Central Coast commute-friendly podcast.